Android, a simple but highly customizable UI which has taken over 64% of the mobile industry. Although it does not have the best ecosystem, well, consumers still choose it as they are two-year contract partners due to the wide variety of Android phones there in the market. But the question is, what is so good about Android OS that it could outbeat their competitors easily? This is Sinful Android, and I am going to tell you one of the reasons why Android is number one, customizable. Yesterday, September 10, Apple has just released both their flagship devices, iPhone 5S and 5C, and not forgetting the official release of iOS 7, although the beta version is already released to the public. So, for those Android users out there who have seen the new look of iOS 7, stop right there if you are thinking of switching to a different OS, cause Android will solve this mess. In this video, I am going to show you on how to change your Android look into an iOS 7 theme. I will put my iOS 7 theme Android phone side by side and iPhone 4 running on iOS 7 beta 6 on some parts so that you guys can see the similarity between the imposter and the real one. So first on the list of apps to download is iLauncher. It is a paid app, costs about $2. Yes, you have to pay for it, but I can make a clear statement that it is the best launcher in imitating the iOS 7 feel and look compared to other launchers which are mostly just rip off and not being able to customize to your own preferences. Although Aspire Launcher iOS 7 app which is just released a few days ago might be an alternative for iLauncher, sorry, also being a free app. I just kinda feel that iLauncher has much more closer feel to the real iOS 7. I also installed it on my phone to see the differences and well, it's not really noticeable between those three including the real iOS 7, but iLauncher provides much more simplicity to its customer as personalizing is easier compared to Aspire Launcher iOS 7 app. However, to get the full iOS 7 experience, you will have to install both launchers. I know it's contradicting, but you'll find out soon. So let's get back to iLauncher. I can tell you spending that $2 was definitely worth it. Transitions are sleek. App dock and drawers have nice translucent effect and icons have nice rounded and gloss effect. App icons are easily customized and you can set it to different apps that you have downloaded or pre-installed. For example, to edit app icons and replacing with iOS 7 icons, you just need to tap and hold on the app icon for a short while. And once you see that it starts jiggling, tap on the icon again and an option set will surface up. Then click on set this app as on the specific app. In this case, my alarm clock app. And they will show a list of iOS 7 app icon which I can change to. So, I want to put it as an iOS 7 clock icon and I just have to click on it. And booyah! It's changed in a split second. Plus, you can see here that the app icon is actually live as the needle on the clock icon is moving and synchronizing to my time set in my phone. Even the calendar date is actually changing every day, just like the one you see in the real iOS 7. It doesn't matter what app icon you want your current app to have, like as you can see here, I set app icons mostly on my less useful apps such as for my smart share app. I change the icon to passbook. I can even change the name of the app by going to the same option set and click on change title to edit it. You can also have the option to change the app icon from your own gallery. So next are the folders. 
It's particularly easy to create a folder by just long pressing an app and move it to another app and then releasing it. Changing the name of the folder is also simple by just tapping on the name of the folder when you are in the folder while it is in a wiggly state and type out new name for the folder. The downside of this launcher is that when you first install and use it, your apps will be spread out to 7 app pages and it is cumbersome to move your apps into other pages as it is sometimes unresponsive. Well, it will only be a one-time issue and you will not change its arrangement after so. Next, another app created by the same developer, Sak Gamoni, for iLauncher is called iNoti. It replaces both your status bar and your notification bar of your Android device with the signature iOS 7 5 dots for signal strength, following by your carrier name on the from the left, time in the middle, and battery icon on the far right of the status bar. To enable this app to work, You'll have to go to your settings and click on accessibility, and you will see iNoti service being switched off. You'll just have to toggle it on, then go to the iNoti app and enable iNoti. Then when you swipe down the status bar, you have that nice dark grey translucent effect notification list with calendar which can only be seen if you are running on Android 4.0 or higher for your own info on the left page while the other notification on the right page giving a blurry colorful background of your various app just like the real iOS 7. You can see here the one on the iPhone has a weather notification unlike the iNoti app and iNoti ha only has today and all section whereas the real iOS 7 has the mix section. The text format is also accustomed to the iOS 7 slim type of text, just simply wonderful. You'll notice, you'll notice that if you try to using a different launcher, the status bar won't appear transparent which is not very nice to see. Therefore, you'll have to install iLauncher. But then, you realize, oh no, so how am I going to access my Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Don't worry. Download another app called iOS 7 Control Center where you can access all your widgets, brightness, and other stuff. There are many Control Center apps out there by various developers, unfortunately none with translucent effects yet. Just make sure you get the English one with high ratings. It has quite similar Control Center as the one on the real iOS 7. Only a different layout and the best part is that you could customize the area which you want the control center to be pulled up on your screen and it works both in portrait or landscape mode. It can be pulled up anywhere or in any app, very easily accessible but might become a burden if you increase the area of sensitivity till it affects your gameplay for temple run or minion rush. And lastly is the lock screen. I recommend you to install either iOS 7 lock screen Parallax HD by developer Apple Shopper or Aspire Screen Locker iOS 7 by you know who. It depends on your own preferences to choose either one of them. The lock screen by Apple Shopper has the one of the closest experience of the iOS 7 lock screen, the right size of time date widget its own transparent status bar and once unlocked you have the that iOS 7 transition once you go to your launcher home screen. The lock screen wallpaper can also be customized to your own gallery and you could also enable that parallax effect where you where your wallpaper follows the tilting movement of your phone. Unfortunately 
the passcode lock isn't really similar to the real iOS 7 and the passcode lock can be bypassed by just a simple tap on the home button, making it pointless. On the other hand, Aspire lock screen has exact similar status bar to the real iOS 7, but the clock date widget is somehow too large. And to be able to customize the lock screen, sound and wallpaper, you will have to purchase a third party license outside Play Store. Another eye saw thing is that there is no animation or transition from lock screen to home screen. However, it, when it comes to passcode lock, it's the best imitator to the real iOS 7 passcode lock plus no fear lock screen being bypassed by tapping on the home button. To enable either one of these lock screen, you have to disable your current stock lock screen and set the third party lock screen you have picked as your default lock screen from the respective apps. This is when the contradicting explanation comes in. To enable the Aspire lock screen to work, you'll need Aspire Launcher first. From there, go to Aspire Hub and click on Plugins for Launcher. Don't worry, you do not have to use Aspire Launcher to use this lock screen. Toggle your Aspire lock screen on and you could customize the settings of your lock screen, operator name, passcode lock, and some other stuff. Make sure you enable the screen locker too in the settings. To enable notifications on your Aspire lock screen, install Aspire notifications from Play Store and toggle your Aspire notifications on from the same Aspire hub and in settings, enable it once again. Make sure notification service is on and that's all you'll have to configure as the other options are for the old iOS 6 status bar. To enhance that iOS 7 experience further, the all-time favorite GoSMS Pro app and the GoSMS Pro iOS 7 team will do the trick. There are various iOS 7 team for GoSMS Pro out there different color options but serve the same purpose mostly paid apps but there is a free one you can install the only issue is that to apply the theme on your go sms pro you have to go by the irritating way of installing various random apps to earn a certain amount of gold to meet a certain criteria don't worry after installing and going through these apps to earn your goal you can uninstall them. So here, you can see the blue team I install on my device, decent compared to the real iOS 7. However, the sad thing is that you won't be able to change to the refurbished iOS 7 keyboard as there isn't any app developer that has created so. Thus, you'll have to stay to your stock keyboard or third party app keyboard at that moment. So that's all I will cover up in this video to make the essential part of iOS 7 feel and look on your Android device. Of course there are still other apps that you can download to enhance the feel of iOS 7 much better such as an iTunes app and a few more, plus an iOS 7 parallax home screen app where you can make your apps appear to be floating above your home screen. But those are, of course, just additional stuff that you may want to try out. All apps covered in this video will be linked in the description below. This is Sinful Hydroid and thank you for watching this video.